Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush. And yes, as you can see, I have been very, very, very busy. I've had my nose to the grindstone all day. It is coming at 9pm here, and I am just finishing up the sixth bucket right now. And I actually have to run because I am almost out of fuel on this thing. Alright, so we'll shut that off. Oh, come on. There we go. 20%. Alright, just enough for the wave table. So, yeah, I have been uh, quite busy. I've been uh, trying to get as much gold as I can because today I want to try to get up to a tier 2. Now, I have done some calculations and right now I have enough money to buy the fuel tank and probably get a, get some fuel in it. Uh, to get the excavator and the, the wash plant, I'm looking at about 28 thousand five hundred roughly and that includes transport of the, the excavator now to get that much gold including the loss well the, the amount of gold I'll need, need including the loss to the blacksmith and the rent I would need 1100 grams and that's not happening I've got six buckets here I don't think I'm going to have more than 400 grams here. The landlord's going to take 140. Uh, I do have to get this process before midnight because I think I actually owe him rent. I don't want him taking my money. I want him taking gold that's going to get lost to blacksmiths. So let's do it the smart way. So I'm going to move all this stuff in here. But yeah, um, I'm thinking what I may end up doing is uh, we'll get the fuel tank. We'll get the wash plant. And then we'll try to rent the excavator. The only thing I can hope for is that we can... The, the excavator's at a low price when we go to rent it. Uh, whether or not the r daily rental price changes, I don't know. But yeah, I want to try to get as much as I can, if I can, at least get a couple of days rental out of the excavator without borrowing any money from the bank. That's, that's what kills me. That's what killed me last time, and I'm sure it'll kill me again. Oh, there's that in my way. Alright, we're almost done. So six buckets. I think the last one, last ones were... I think we had an 80, 85, did we not? So, we could be looking at close to 500 grams. Well, 350 minus landlord's cut, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, and unfortunately I don't have 600 grand right now to buy the parcel. Yeah, that's always fun. That's where the nuggets come, came in handy. Uh, well, I got a second here. I wanna see how much dirt I have left in here. Okay, so my plans of eventually clearing this out may not happen, but it's there if we ever need gas money, right? You know, if we don't have money to run the, run the excavator, we can always go over there, do some digging, get a bucket or two, and asher. So let's go get the wave table up and going, and I'm actually going to try to remember that I moved these things. But I want to do everything in one shot and to see if we just get a final tally instead of bucket for bucket. God, those things are noisy. Oh, got to turn it on first. Oh, got to plug it in first. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the magnetite right now. Come on, and there we go. So, there's that. It'll take two buckets at a time, which comes in handy. And we'll do that. And... You know what, just because... Since I actually have two empty buckets on... No, because then i got to move it over here. And, Move it back and forth. We won't worry about the magnetite right now. We'll do that another time. We'll save that for when we get the tier 2 going. So we got 100 already out of one bucket. That was actually pretty good. We could be looking at more than I thought here. Oh, I actually need that. Someone left the water running. It's good thing there's no carpet in here. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right, well, it's going to take a few minutes, so let me do a cut here, and I'll bring you back with a, when we get the final total. That last bucket was something else. That last bucket must have been like 120 grams. I have absolutely no idea where that came from, but that's actually a lot better than I thought it was. So that is perfect. Uh, sadly, the landlord is going to be taking a good chunk of that. And so I'm going to shut this off. Let's go pass the night away. Actually, let's go see if this has been triggered yet. Maybe I have to go get the shovel first. But yeah, there's something interesting that happens here. I thought that was a story part too. 
can't remember, but yeah, there's a shovel here. But there was a friend here that shows up. I don't know when or where. Or, I know where, but I don't know when. We'll check it out later. I'm not going to spoil anything in case you haven't seen it. But, let's go see what the landlord takes. It's probably take like 200. Uh, 170. That's actually pretty good. 400 grams, 16,000. Let's go check out. Check it out. Maybe we'll luck out and uh, something will be on sale. Like the wash plant or something. I actually forgot how to drive there. Nice foggy morning. But hey, it's not frozen. That's all that matters. Anyway, I shall bring you back. Now, okay, the gold is ready. Uh, before we before we go, I'm just going to show you this here. Uh, the, the selling price of the ore to the blacksmith is 40%. So if you really need cash and you can't, don't have money to smell, you can sell a little bit to him. And then use that to actually smelt the rest. It would probably be better to do it that way than actually borrow money from the bank just to smelt it. So what do we get here? not drop that lot. Well, don't think it actually matters, but it should be about 10 ounces, 11 ounces or something. It was 396 minus th 39 grams, so about 356 grams or something. We'll find out when we get to the bank, and for recording purposes, I shall lay up the, the road for you. It's really so I don't crash into things, but I, I will anyways. You know I will. All right, let's see how slick these roads are. I do that every time. Oh. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do, yes. So that gold fever does to you. Fifteen thousand. That's actually not too bad. So that gives us nineteen. Still not enough for the excavator, but I don't care. Because that should be enough to buy both and get about a week's rental on the thing. Uh so let us go check the price on the the fuel tank and the wash plant. And I also want to see what, how much the magnetite trailer was. I think that's around 20,000. So that's one of the reasons why getting the magnetite isn't a big concern at the moment. Hey, look at that. I remember to turn my lights off properly. That's not too bad. Five grand. And I swear to God, this, thing's keep, thing, this thing keeps getting more and more expensive. And fuel tank. This was 49, 51, 50 now. I wonder if it's got to do with the time of the day or if it's just getting more and more expensive as the season goes on. Hmm. Well, we're going to buy one of those. We are going to buy one of these. And I'll have to make two trips for this. Uh, is there anything else I would need? Uh, I'm going to have to get some more hoses. That's definite. I think it's, I'm not gonna. You know, I think I know I'm gonna start digging because I remember from where, where I was drilling before. I have a rough idea of where everything's gonna be. Uh, it's generally, I'll go to the gold map here because I have drilled this claim before on the other map, and I found that right around here was a good area. There was a good, nice deposit over here, but this is gonna be random. And then this right here was like the cream of the crop stuff you get in the start here is the starter material and I want to save that for the tier 3 okay uh, what else let me make sure I have everything uh, the generator I can bring with you know what how much is it this is that electric generator electric water pump I was talking about might almost be worth it Instead of having to fill this thing up all the time. You know what? Let's do it. Use this power, but we have a generator, so that's fine. 15,000. Ooh. Uh, I still need gas, too. I got four. We're going without the pump. That's what we're going to have to do. 
All right, so uh, let's actually we'll leave this here. Let's run over to the machine, the machine park here, and pick up our excavator. So I have six thousand. I think I still have to pay the transport fee on a rental. Maybe they might do the transport for free. Oh, please be under nineteen. Oh, this is gonna be scary. Twenty thousand. Ouch. Rent. Eesh. Never rented a machine before. It's there. So we can see. Order. Okay. Uh, All right, so I do have to trans pay for the transport. Ugh, so expensive. So, yeah, I can get about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars worth of fuel, and that should be okay. So let me gather everything up. I'll head back to the claim, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to break some ground. Okay, I am back finally. And yes, there's our little beast there, a little little big bucket to do all the hard work for me uh, as you can see by the back of the truck here I had forgotten a few things uh, one of the things I actually forgot was high voltage cables uh, we'll actually drop that off later uh, I also forgot that I needed an extra pump to go out this far so I had to go out and get another another gas pump so we'll just go ahead and I didn't have the lights on habits I tell you they're hard to break and I got the power tap too uh, I got the power tap because that we're going to start getting that magnetite now. And since we're on rental here, I'm going to try to get this thing up and running as fast as I can. So this pump is going to be going right to the wash plant. Uh, this hose here is going to go from there and it's going to run all the way up here. And I hope it's going to reach. I really do. Uh, that's not 50 meters, is it? Oh god, no. Come on. You should be able to reach. Maybe not. Really? Oh yeah, we can get a little more. We can stretch this. Unfortunately, this can't, can't be over 50. As the other pump doesn't want to deal with it. Well, I think... I'm going to have to move the other pump then. 48. Fair enough. Because I actually do have some slack on this. So that's good. Okay, drop that. Drop that. Let's get some slack on this. we got to run this all the way over to here. If you'll reach. Don't reach, <laughs> eventually. Alright, I'm going to pick you up. We'll drop. Uh, let's see here. Drop you there. Actually, I think you got to be close to the other side. And, yeah. Now, will you reach? And will you be in range? Alright, so far so good. And you work. That's all I care about. Oh, sorry. 41 meters. Good enough. Alright, and then uh, the other splitter is over here. So then all I'll do is take this hose. I'll just swap it back and forth. We're going to wash it down there. We have that in when we're over here. We do that. And the generator I take with me. Just unplug that for now, and we'll take the whole thing with us, hop in the truck, and then we'll head down to the wash plant. You can actually see where I've got it set up. And I've always been curious about this one mysterious lump that's always there. So we'll do that. We'll get that back in the truck, since these physics are terrible. And I've played games with ter bad physics before. Could be worse, though. Could always be worse. So you can see that one mound there. I don't know what it's about, but we're getting mining it anyways. So then we just take the generator, go over here. I grab some more buckets too, because I knew we were running low. Alright. 
we are just about ready. Just gotta plug this in to there. Uh, throw a bucket. Oh, that's not a bucket. Ah, that's a bucket. Put a bucket in there. I gotta fill up the pumps with gas. Get the excavator. So I'll bring you back when we're time to bring the ex excavator over. Okay, we are ready. We're ready to go. Let's fire this bad boy up. Get this. All right, and off we go. This thing's got a turbo boost, right? No, it doesn't. Yeah, needless to say, it's going to take me a little while. Uh, hopefully, I can get there by 1 o'clock, so I guess I'll meet you when I get there. And here we are, 15 minutes early. So now I gotta get myself just all set up here. I like to get my get myself into a situation where I don't have to move either the wash plant or the excavator at all. So if I have my bucket here, and then basically any dirt I can grab from here, and then just go back and forth like that. I'm gonna try to process that and go from there. Okay, so all it's have to do is fire everything up. Which means I gotta run all the way down here and turn these pumps on, run all the way back, and then turn the generator on. Uh, this is why I like those electric pumps. Oh, yeah, I go grab that one too. Anywho, I'll meet you back at the excavator. Okay, here we are. Water's on and power's on. No, I just hope this actually is working. Haha, -ha. that's what I want to hear. Let's start digging. So I'm going to go ahead and process a couple of buckets and I'll bring you back when I have something. Oops. Yeah, I'm getting a little, a little early on that. Yeah, there was nothing in there. The only thing about this, like I was saying, it's a small excavator. It's hard to really keep the plant running because the bucket is so small, right? I get what 20% out of this so as unless you're really close you can't actually keep the dirt being washed and that's really what it's all about is keeping the dirt going through the plant so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a couple of buckets done and see what kind of get gold we can get Maybe we can actually buy this thing instead of having to actually pay another day of rental on it so I shall return and here we are finishing up our first bucket uh, I'm not gonna be I'm not too worried about actually checking to see what's in it right now I did not mean to turn that off uh, I just want to get as much process as I can I'm sure it's a lot better than the hog pan site and I realized I forgot to bring my truck over here too uh, but depending on how long that tank lasts and how long the day lasts I'm going to try to get two more buckets, but we'll see how that actually goes. You know, it's not like I'm lacking pay dirt here. Uh, I do, like, I want to try to get something processed, so at least the landlord's got something to take, so he's not taking whatever money I have left, because I need that for my loan. And, you know, if the landlord takes that 1600 bucks I have, then we lose the excavator. So, anyways, I'm going to keep on digging here, and hopefully we get a nice turnout here. So I shall return. And that makes two. And I just dropped in a hole. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. I left the engine running. Yes. Okay. Oh, there we go. Alright, so yeah, that's two. I still have to go and fill up the pumps. Oh, stuck in a hole. Just like my life, man. Alright. Let's back her up. As I gotta get new ground, anyways. Uh, let's see, I'm digging still. Okay, let's get a little bit closer to the wash plant. Right there. I shut that off. And I gotta turn this off because I gotta go fill up the pumps. So that's bucket number two of good old pay dirt. So I'm gonna fill these up, get one more done, and we should be able to get it all cleaned up for the landlord tonight. Okay, I have the third bucket. So all we gotta do now is I have the generator and everything else with me. We're gonna shut this pump off. We're gonna leave the other one running because we're actually gonna switch that over to the the water splitter. 
I'm also going to get the powers. No, oh, we won't worry about the power spotted right now. Actually, we might just because I have it on me. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's shut that off. Alright, and get some light. Take that off. And we'll hook you up. Okay, then we'll grab this bad guy here. We'll just dump him here for now. Uh, power splitter. Do that. Actually, we could probably put that right there. Okay, high voltage cable. Connect that to that. And then we grab another one of these. This can go from here and we'll hook that up into that one all right so everybody's got power except for you because you are where are you you're over here yes where i left you okay and i can go right in there perfect grab our three buckets of pay dirt and I'm sure everybody's going to hate it when they finally decide to make it so these buckets are actually empty when you tip them on their side. That would be nasty. Mm -hmm. An uproar in the community. I know I'm wasting fuel. I don't care. I don't care because we got some gold to, to process. And yes, we're going to get our first magnetite here too. Uh, since the trail isn't super expensive, I think we can go for it. Alright, uh, now we got to turn you on. Go inside where it's nice and quiet. All we hear is the sound of water. Of course, okay, and I knock my buckets over. I am missing a bucket. No, you're there. Okay, first one. That wasn't that great of a bucket, surprisingly. Uh, this will actually tell us how much magnetite we get. Sixteen hundred. So that's yeah, that's close to two hundred grams of gold right there. I'd say. See, so we get here. Oh, I hope I didn't lose it. Pretty sure this thing's got a buffer. Yeah, I, I've done that a few times. This looks like another good bucket here. We have 1700. So it's not the best pay dirt in the world. Uh, and I just totally forgot which buckets we processed. I think it was that one, so. We will find out in a minute. It's that night type. Yeah, okay. So we got the right buckets here. Perfect. This will give us oh, 4,000 grams. Gets us closer to an upgrade. 1,500. Yeah, definitely not the best dirt in the world. But that's fine. Because it's gold. And it's going to get washed in just a second here. I kind of regret putting everything in here now. <laughs> There's absolutely no room to work. Alright, there's two, and... Wait for this. Yeah, it's not that great of ground right now. Still getting 100 grams a bucket, I'm not complaining. Because that's money. Alright, let's see what we get here. Landlord's going to be happy. Not going to be enough to buy an excavator, but enough to buy more fuel and get a few more days rental. And we'll see what we have. We're going to be over 300 for three buckets. And that's actually bad ground. I've seen upwards of 270 and 280 grams, so... We're talking like eight, nine ounces a bucket. Oh, this is very nice. 352 for three buckets, and I ended up getting 
that out of five in the hog pants like well that is awesome now it is getting dark so i think what we'll do is uh shut this off we'll shut this off sleep to the morning see what the landlord takes Hundred sixty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the rent. It's like, why is there he taking money? And I realized it was machinery. So he took a hundred. So we still have two hundred fifty grams. We almost have enough th for Dave's rental, but I actually got to go and smelt that gold. Let's actually do that quickly. One minute. end the episode here. I don't need lights. It's daytime. But we are doing good. That is awesome. The only thing I can hope for right now is that baby when they go into town the small excavators on sale like 30% off ow yeah that's what happens when you don't look at, pay attention to the road I was looking at how much gold I had 240 after spilling that's 220 yeah we're about halfway to the excavator but I can afford to pay, pay the rental I need to get my suspension looked at. I'm like all over the place. I like how they're keeping the tire tracks there too. So we shall be there in just a second. Let's actually see if there's anything on sale. I don't think there's anything I really need right now. Other than a bigger activator. Power generator. Oh. What was that 30% off too? It's a shame. It's a fifty thousand dollar box. Yeah. But anyway, let's go. I'm actually gonna go take care of the blacksmith, and I'll bring you back when we got it in our hands. Okay, we have it. I didn't have enough to smelt at all. As you can see, there's about an ounce left, but that's fine. Because as long as we have money to pay for a few days' rental and buy some more fuel, that's fine. Uh, the tank, the mobile tank, when I filled it up, I was only able to fill it up about 40% because I wanted to keep money for rental, and it's a good thing I did save money because I had to go and get the other generator and some hoses, and what else did I need to buy? Oh yeah, the cable. So, with that, uh, see, one of these days I might pull an Ace Ventura in front of that thing. Eight grand. What's the stock at? Uh, yeah, still that's eight grand. Eight grand in the bank. We have no loans. We can take a loan, but I'm not doing that because look at the, the balance, the, the the interest on that. But there we go. So we have eight grand in the bank. We still got twenty-seven grams. We have an excavator that we can rent for another week and a half, at least halfway into summer if we need to, and go from there. But anyways, uh, it's a good place to call the episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.